Hi, good afternoon and welcome to a coin conversation. I'm David Lasso. The numismatic industry has attracted many new players recently. One in particular who's had a great force is Mr. Iraj Saya, who has invested quite a bit of money in helping cause the U.S. coin market to go up. He's here with me today to talk about his activity in the U.S. coin market. Mr. Saya, what has yeah. caused you to become involved in the U.S. coin market? That caused me to become involved in U.S. coin market because I felt U.S. coin market have a lot of room to grow. And plus, love for history and heritage for, from America. That both sides make me think about that and try to do something about it, and I involved with that subject. Now, you have invested quite a bit of money in the market. Why did you choose coins rather than stocks or bonds or more traditional investments? Uh, because uh, that have uh, two sides of the subject. One side is the spiritual feeling about the coin and the hobby and the collecting. And plus, they have a uh, room for the investing for the money and you can make good money of that coin market because I feel that's have, as I said, so much room in the future and now is the coin is very, in very, very low price compared to another antique market like a porcelain or something else. Because you can see even the art for painting and porcelain you can see that they develop maybe that in that recent year 10, 20 times more than coin. Actually, the same, they both the same, they are art. Mm -hmm. For example, you can see one porcelain is the produced 50, 60, 100 years ago is the same as a coin. Both they are art, but this porcelain may be worth 100, 200 times more mm -hmm. than the comparison with the coin. And I think coin market is not as much as grow as the other art object is the grow, like a painting and like a porcelain or so many other things. That's why I thought the best way to enjoy the collecting at the same time make money or invest some money on this subject. That's why is the, I participate in this field. And why U.S. coins? Why not the coins of Great Britain or Japan or ancient coins that are much, much older? Because uh, we, we live in America and uh, don't forget America is the most power in the world. And uh, for the U.S. coin, it shows a lot of feeling of history, a lot of, uh, what can I say, a lot of history of America. Mm -hmm. And if you have a piece of the coin in your hand, it shows you have a, some part of the history in your hand. And it shows all the develop for the art, and the feeling of the people and how they deal in the beginning of America, in America. And plus, the America is developed every day more and more. And uh, something else too, American, they love their history and so much and they care about that. That is why even if we comp compare one Asian coin uh, or old coin from some other country to American coin, we can see in comparison, American rare coin is much worse and uh, I mean much valuable than their coin. Uh, with the, for example, some coin we can see in the auction is goes half a million dollar even for American coin. But you cannot see in the, the Britain coin or some other country's coin is goes so high because Americans they love their country and they love their art they love their you know history and they love whatever belongs to them 
What is your strategy for coin investment? How do you plan to use your investment? That is, I don't have any feeling for the coming back right away money to me. I don't, I don't care about that because I think that is the usually is long term investment. And the, in the future, uh, for the logical way of thinking, then the uh, supply is going to be finished and the demand going to be developed more and more and more. As you know, for, for example, about five years ago, is the, in America was about half a million people, they have more than one million dollar than assets and wealth. Mm -hmm. Now is, that has come more than one million. Now one, more than one million people, they have more than one million dollars in America, American people. And uh, for sure in the future, five years from now come double, again five years later come double. It means 10 years from now, we would uh, have in America around four million people, they have more than one million dollar. And that is create some new demand for all the art, especially for the coin. Plus, the coin, rare coin, is still the same and doesn't go more, they don't produce anymore. And the supply is still the same, even maybe less, because some of them going to be damaged, some of them lost or so. Generally speaking, demand and supply, they work against each other. Demand grow more and more, supply come less and less. And that is why I think for, from comparison with now, 10 years later, maybe going to be 10 times, 20 times more, whatever is today is the, go, uh, the coin is worth. And uh, that is make me think about investment for longer term is not for tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I'm thinking. Okay. What about buying coins for large sums of money? You've paid over $100,000 for one coin. Why would you pay so much for a single coin? Because some of the coin only you can find one of them. You can not find any more, only exist the one and up to you what what you would like to put the price on that. And actually, you cannot to put the price if one only single coin is exist. One of them exists and nobody can produce any more of that and you have only one. And comparison with, again, with another art object, if you have one art object, like a one cook, the painting, they sell it $15 million, $14 million. I think the coin have a room for growing like that in the future. In other words, because the most expensive painting has sold for $53.9 million, yes. the most expensive coin has sold for less than a million, $750,000. Yes, right. And that is the, it means they can, again, go grow 20, 30 times more I don't know, 50 times more because have a place for that. And uh, in the future, is not so long future, 10, 5, 10 years time, you can find, you are going to find some coin going to sell maybe 10, 20, 30 million dollars. Maybe that is a little bit dream and people, they don't think about that, but it will be happen. Because the same coin now, I bought one coin in the auction 88, more than 100,000, the same coin were 10 years ago, 5,000. Right. You know, it means it's come for 10 years, 20 times more, and going to be 20 times more in 10 years' time, and means $2 million, uh, $2 million in the future, and goes $20 million, again, more 10 years, more time. Is, is the issue here is not the money. Issue here, the art and the only one single coin exists in this series, and that is the heritage, that is the history. Mm -hmm. And uh, you cannot buy history or say, for example, that is so much money, you cannot put the money on that. 
How do you take care of the dealers so that they are fair with you? There's a tendency whenever a new buyer comes into the market to always try to get top dollar. How do you ensure that the dealers are fair with you when you trade with them? Naturally, that is true, but I try to search so many dealers. I try to compare their price. I try to uh, refer to any system, fax system, teletrade system, and to the auction released for the price. And I try to search good enough. But I think mostly, most of the dealers, they are fair people. Mostly they are honest. Mm -hmm. Maybe, anyway, everywhere have some, somebody wanted to take advantage of that situation. And if the new demand coming, usually is the you know, supply goes up. That is the, that's the rule for any economic situation. I have to understand that. But generally speaking, I try to, you know, surge enough and not be deceived. And usually it's nothing uh, doesn't happen to me. No, they, are, they were fair to me. Who makes your investment decisions for you? Who picks the area of coins that you're going to buy? Actually, all whole industry, I am looking for every point of that, not one, one certain person. But I am searching for so many different dealers, so many different books, so many different auction, and I'm asking, and then I make decision what to buy and where. But generally speaking, whatever coin you buy is going to be good investment anyway. Doesn't matter what. Maybe you pay now 5% more or 2% less. Is In the long run, it doesn't matter anyway. Because for sure, if you look at the coin, uh, I would say, history, for 20, 30 years ago till now, everything goes up. Even sometimes the market was crashed, generally speaking, economic wasn't good, but never came down as was before. It means always goes up and up and up. Because, as I told you, it depends on the supply and demand. And the supply is a certain level, cannot go anymore, and the demand always grow. And that is, that is the reason always goes up. How long have you been involved in the U.S. coin market? I had a, for a long time, for several years ago, I have been collecting the mm -hmm. coin market. But recently, I felt that is the good area for investment, too. And I invest uh, quite of money. Is enough, good enough for the... With what you know now, compared to what you knew when you started, what would you do differently now, if you were starting your investments now? I would do it the same, but I would do it with a more rare, high-grade coin. Mm -hmm. And plus, low-grade coin, I mean for low-grade, for example, 60, 61, 62, they are still very, very cheap. As you know, for example, that is the maybe 40, 50 percent over the spot right now. If you compare one uh, 20 cent goddess, is the gold around $400, and you can buy it $600, it means 50% more. And the brand new coin from Switzerland, from Australia, from Canada, the same, from China, Panda, was the same. And why you don't buy it, for example, something 100 years old and history of America, and the supply is the, the finish. They don't produce anymore. I think, generally speaking, all area for the coin, American coin, have so much room to develop. And the wise thinking is the in, invest. Anyway, I, I know so many investors, they invest the, in the American coin because they're good area. If you wanted to invest for the average normal coin, billion coin, why not put it you pay a little bit more and uh, have some 50, 100 years old coin. If the coin, I mean, if the gold goes up, for sure, 
your coin going up for the gold reason. And plus, you have a numismatic value on that too. Okay. And that is goes very faster anyway for than gold. Okay. Mr. Sayah, thank you very much for thank having me. Thank you very much. Us. My guest has been Iraj Sayah, a primary investor right now in the numismatic market. This has been David Lasso with a coin conversation. If you buy and sell coins, you should know about the Professional Numismatist Guild. This organization began in 1955 and now has more than 250 members nationwide who are experts in buying and selling rare coins and precious metals. The PNG is founded on the principles of knowledge, responsibility, and integrity in the rare coin business. PNG members have the highest personal, financial, and ethical standards in the coin industry. When you deal with a member of the Professional Numismatist Guild, you can expect to be treated fairly and have the assurance of doing business with a recognized professional. Whether your interests are investing, collecting, or just learning more about rare coins, there's a PNG member near you. You can find out more about buying and selling rare coins by calling area code 818-781-1764 or write P.O. Box 430, Van Nuys, California, 91408. You'll receive a free brochure and the PNG directory listing 250 of the nation's top rare coin dealers. Call the PNG today.